So one thing I found really interesting as I listened to your music this week was you often have real-world events or historical events as the, the inspiration and, or the theme for your compositions. Could you give us an example of how, how that works? Like if you have a particular event in mind, how do you go from there to starting to put notes on a page or experiment with musical ideas? Yeah, so... How do you translate those ideas in your head into music? Yeah, so sometimes it can, it's very, uh, it could be very academic. So, uh, for example, I, I wrote, a, I wrote a, a, a chamber orchestra piece for a high school, uh, Tsunami, so about the J uh, Japan Tsunami. And I actually mm. <laughs> looked up certain numbers. Uh, I looked up uh, the date, the date of the tsunami, uh, you know, like what was the height of the waves. And so I, I, I came up with all these numbers. And um, mm. you know, I created certain, uh, I created certain uh, melody based on numbers and using numbers with with mm. notes. Yeah, equating notes with numbers and uh, yeah. So that's one way you can do it. So that's very uh, academic. Uh, mm. I like to another way I like to do is uh, folk tunes. Uh, a lot of people can relate to famous folk tunes. So, so for example, in my uh, in my piece. Uh, for a pi solo piano, uh, Sonyanto, which is the uh, Japanese occupation of Singapore during World War II, in the third movement, uh, it's I I put I put in a famous uh, Japanese folk tune Sakura. I put in a famous Chinese uh, folk tune uh, Jasmine Flower. So I have mm. uh, I I use these folk tunes to try to okay with these uh, themes. Uh, what are the mel melodic fragments and uh, I try to cr create. A new piece, and mm -hmm. I, 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 I always remember. Uh, okay, my 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 composition journey. I had many teachers, but I always I always remember one uh, lesson I had with Drew Schner, uh, at UCLA, and he said that we should be doing, I should be doing, more things with less. So I should be, um, I should build a music composition with less materials. So, mm. so. I guess uh, this doing more with less materials really has really influenced me a lot. So I, I would start with uh, folk tunes, themes, thematic material. Yeah, I would say I'm still very traditional. Uh, motifs, motifs are very important to me. Thematic materials are very important to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Terrific. And so it's interesting. It sounds like you have a blend of as you say, traditional composition techniques with some, what I would see as quite contemporary ideas, such as basing it on numbers and connecting it so closely with facts and figures. Um, I don't know if maybe that comes from, you have a very strong background in engineering also, and <laughs> maybe have a, an engineer's mind that you bring to the table as a composer. And just like um, uh, the composer Z Zunakis, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right. Z Zinakis, you know, he's an architect, right? So he's an architect mm -hmm. and he's a composer. So he he uses numbers a lot in his music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 